What is up guys, my name is Mike Spillo, welcome back to another video. If you're new, please subscribe, hit the like button, and let's go. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use Auto-Tune on Mix 12 9, also how to record, how to set it up, etc, etc. Now, with that said, let's get into the video. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. Let's get it. Okay, so here we are inside of our Mixcraft 9. Alright, so obviously this is what you're going to see. I'm not going to break down how to start recording and all those things. I already made videos on these topics. If you guys want to check them out, I'll put them in the description below. So please go check that out as well. Alright, so FX is where you'll find your effects. Alright, now Mixcraft comes with its own pitch correctioner, which is basically auto-tune and it's called the g snap pitch correction okay so once you're here let me just close this real quick all right as you guys can see over here you can set up everything that you want to do your min frequencies max frequencies gate speed fresh amount amount will be the amount of auto tune on your voice attack release p bend vibrato vibrato speed and calibrate but the easiest way to understand this is basically just to understand the key that you're going to sing in and then you're just going to choose it. For example, I usually use a C major or an E major depending on the song. But before we do that, let's just record something and then we'll start adding the auto tune to try to balance it out. Okay. Let's do this. Also, never record on a track that has effects on. You always record on a blank track to keep the audio as clear and re I mean as pure and real as possible. Okay, so let's just try something real quick. <clears throat> Said I tell you that I'm leaving so soon. Okay, there we have our vocals. Now let's listen to it real quick. Just on arm over here. Said I tell you that I'm leaving so soon. All right, now we put it in our track. Like I said, I I think this sounds like E, so I'm gonna put an A major, and then let's hear what it sounds like. This is just with the auto tune. Again, you're gonna later on add more effects to get the desired sound that you're looking for. Said I tell you that I'm leaving so soon. Okay, so it's a, it doesn't blend perfectly, so let's try a C major, maybe that's going to sound better. Said I tell you that I'm leaving so soon. Okay, no, I think the E major will definitely sound a little bit better. But, again, you, you guys can just play around and find one that works for you. <clears throat> but for me personally, I don't use the G snap pitch correction. I use the T-Pain effect. Now this effect does not com come on Mixcraft. This is a separate plugin that you need to download through Google itself. Um, I'll put the download link in the description of this video so you guys can go download it yourself. All right. Um, over here. Now let's hear the difference. Again, I said it was an E. So let's say E major. I'm just gonna dial it down. I never turn it up all the way. Now let's listen to how it sounds now with G snap pitch, I mean, with the T-Pain effect. Said I tell you that I'm leaving so soon. See, it sounds a lot better. It's less jumpy, it's more clear, and you get closer to that desired sound. Um, because I do believe most people use autotune, not for the autotune effect itself, but strictly just to balance out the vocals and get that nice, um, professional, clear sound <clears throat> so i'm gonna just play around one more time and just lower it just a little bit that's what i usually put it on okay for those of you who want to know i put this in every single video if you guys want to know how to get clear and professional vocals there are a couple effects that i use not just the t-pain effect um let me just quickly show you guys again so you don't have to go watch the, the whole other video to get into that. I have a preset here called MS Clean 5. You guys can simply copy everything here and then you guys should have that professional sound. This works for any voice, this works for any type of artist. You just need to make a few minor adjustments here and there. 
So first of all, multiband compressor, very crucial. Don't set anything here, just click on the preset, smooth, all right? You can always play around with these if you want to, but I have a separate plugin that I use for this purpose. Next, the Pultonic Tube Equalizer. Brilliance, warmth, check, the, check it out. Again, don't set anything. I just click on the clean high frequency boost and then I, I'll set down, I'll take my, my brilliance down to two and my warmth between four and five normally. All right. You can play around with this as you like to find the sound that works for you. Classic reverb, always. I don't use acoustical reverb. The classic reverb for me personally has a better sound. I usually put it over there. Just, just a dash. Unless I'm doing like rap vocals, then I'm, I'm probably going to leave it around there. And then sometimes with my backup vocals, I'll put it around here. All right. Also, that's going to be the output where you can determine the volume of your vocals. Cool. Then the T-Pain effect, obviously. I already showed you guys that. Last but not least, uh, the delay and the parametric equalizer. Delay, straightforward. Play around with this, see what you like. I'll put mine on. You can copy my settings over here. And then parametric equalizer. This is the, this is the one, guys. <coughs> this is where, <coughs> even with auto-tune or without auto-tune, this is where you can find that perfect balance between all the frequencies play around to find the sound that, that works for you on this particular song all right so there's not a lot much that i can explain over here obviously we have the low frequencies on the left and the high frequencies on the right and you're going to play around with this to find the desired sound this can vary this can vary from the type of microphone that you use as well as your distance from the microphone as well as your type the type of voice you use there's a lot of things that goes into this. I'm not going to break down everything. Like I said, I want to keep this video short and simple. So yeah, that's it, guys. You can play around with the T-Pain effect or you can use G-Snap Pitch Correction. Which one, whatever, whichever, which one would, works for you. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> but yeah, that has been it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you ASAP. I'm out. So that is the end of today's video again guys if you have not done so please subscribe hit the like button for me and comment below any questions that you guys have as well as comment if you guys like these type of videos so i can make more of them okay thank you guys again so much for all the support we've been growing a lot lately i truly appreciate it and uh yeah looking forward to see what's gonna happen